gentlemen, give it up for Act Two! This is the F2 Show. What's happening, F2 family? Are you ready for some checkers? That's it, love it. Guys, your first show, how are you feeling? Brilliant, man. Incredible. Guys, first of all, can we say thank you to everyone for coming out? Yeah, yeah it's incredible. You can smell the techers in the air, Jess. Oh, I can smell it everywhere. For your first guest <laughs> on your first live show, <laughs> yeah. tell me why you went for this guy. Number one, he's one of our boys. All right. Number two, can relate to him because he's got swag and he does what he does very, very well. Mm -hmm. And number three, he's a game changer in his field. That's right, he's a total pioneer in his industry. And without further ado, let me introduce to you guys, Rex Free 2! Hello. Come on, good. Yes, brother. Yes, Rex. How are you? Good, you good? Good, welcome to the F2 show. What's happening, you good? Yeah. We've got some firsts to ask you. Cool. So I want to throw you back to your first ever gig. What was that like? Um, first show, no fans. Nobody made any noise. <laughs> Probably didn't remember my lyrics. This is a long time ago, though. Yeah. But it was good fun. Rich, when was the first time you heard one of your, your songs, your bangers, in a nightclub? You to be honest, there? though, we used to kind of pressure the DJs, if I'm honest. <laughs> so if I was in the club, we'd be like, yo, you know you got to play that. <laughs> so um, that used to happen. But when it first happened organically, I think it was out of London somewhere as well, um, just in the club. Yeah. You're a football fan, right? Yeah. What's your first memory of football? Ian Wright. We love Wright. Just seeing the way he was moving, he just looked like someone I related to, someone who I was familiar with, even though I didn't know him. His attitude, the way he played. And um, of course, he played for my team, Arsenal. First okay. car? First car. The official one. Because mm -hmm. it's a crap one. Is there an unofficial one? Yeah, the not so crap one. I want to know the truth. The first, uh, first car of mine was a Metro. Okay. A Metro? What would yeah. you drive now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Mercedes, Mercedes. Yeah. Now we yeah. want to talk about some action. That's right, we know Wretch has got techers on the mic, but we put Wretch under a bit of a football techers test a little bit earlier on today. Do you guys want to see what we did and how we got on? Yeah! Rich, how's your first touch? Roll VT. So, Professor Techers, we set you the task of setting up the touch tester. We've done the diagram, sent you the pictures. Question is, how have you got on? Got on very well, boys. Why don't we take a look? Oh, oh yes. Beautiful. Look at that. So what are the rules then, Professor? The aim of the game is to control it within the circle you see below. We've got three levels, 6 metres, 11 metres and 16 metres. Prove you got what it takes at the lower levels to move up and score bonus points by showing us the Techers in the inner circle. Think you got what it takes? You know the answer to that, Chez? I'd like to think so. It does look high from up here, though. I can't wait to try it. Should we do it, Bill? Let's do it. Let's do it. Wretch, first touch challenge. Yeah. Starting off six metres up. Are you ready? Of course. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so, first go, Wretch has nailed it. First time, double points in a circle from six metres, but how can he cope with 11 metres? Oh, uh, this is the one. Oh! Oh! oh yes! Yes! yes. yes. <laughs> Double point. That was 11 metres. Let's see how you fare up from 16. Go on, Rach. Oh! oh. Double clap. Oh. oh! Unlucky. It's oh. Unlucky. Oh. unlucky. It's tough, unlucky. It? It's so it's tough. tough. It's so tough. It's tough. Mate, that's a great effort. That was the first touch challenge. Rich, talk us through that challenge there. Yeah, it's funny. Sitting here, it doesn't look as high up as it is. Like, it's, it's, it's quite high. And when it comes down, it moves a bit as well, so yeah. Are we happy with his skills? Should we keep him as a judge for later on? 
I'd love to keep him. Rich, you up for staying about? Yeah, of course, why not? Awesome. Give it up for Rich32. <laughs> So guys, last week we went on the hunt for your techers on social media and you produced hundreds of top, top videos. Here are our top five. Roll VT. one you think should win. That's right, and we've got a pair of messy boots for, for the, the winner. winner. So, for creativity, I would go with the golf shot, um, the backspin. Are you going to agree with him? I'm leaning to number four uh, as well. There was a, I like the way he was scheming first. He left a bit of suspense, yeah, which we yeah. like. If you watch our videos, we like a bit of suspense, then some seconds. Didn't and know he what's done coming. It. And he delivered. He delivered. I'm thinking, I'm thinking number four for me. Rich? I think I'll go four still. He might run away with it. What do you think? Let's hear it. Four, four. Billy, tell us who's the winner. It's number four, Blake Cavendown. Round of applause. Well done, Blake. But lads, it's not always about techers. Sometimes it's about speed. Isn't that right, Professor Techers? It is. I mean, I've developed a challenge called the Speed Equals Distance Over Time Challenge. What do no, you always think? No, no, Behave no, yourself, no. Professor. You may be a professor of techers. You may be seven foot tall. You may even have size 15 feet. But where we're from, we call it the sledgehammer. That's right. And we challenge Premiership baller Victor Wanyama to the sledgehammer challenge to see what his top speed is when it comes to striking a ball. <laughs> Jez, 64 miles per hour, talk to me. It's a decent score. It's decent, He's mate. a Prem baller, he's got techers, 64 is a more than respectable score. What do you, where do you think he's gonna fare up on the leaderboard? <laughs> well, Bill, considering he's the first guy to try it, I'm guessing, I might be wrong, he's gonna be first. Let's have a look. There Let's... he is. There he is, Victor Top Wanyama. of the leaderboard, Victor. <laughs> right, Bill, do you wanna have a go? I've gotta beat that. You gotta beat 64. It looks hard. Oh! oh! Give him a round of applause, 74. guys. 74 miles per hour. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Pretty impressive, Phil. Pretty impressive. Do you know what? That's decent. But I'd like to see Wretch Free 2 have a shot at the power. I'd like to see that too. Should we get him out of here? Yeah. Last time I saw Wretch in football boots, there was hat tricks all over the place. So. All over. All over. Right, Crossbar so challenger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so Rich, obviously you're not a premiership baller. You're a top, top class artist. Yeah. Question is, I want to know what score you would be happy with. I like that one there still. Someone said 32. Nah, nah, 64 then. Or 65. 64, 65. He's aiming high. Take it away, Rich. Let's do it. Just smash it. Here we go. Go on, go on. Go on. Oh, it's good, it's good. Some good power there. Rich, that's decent. Right, let's have a look at the leaderboard. Where's it coming in? Where's it coming in? 66! 66. 66. Yes! Hey! You called it! That's without a warm up, without any stretching, Rich. Round of applause, Rich, guys. 
but that's not enough. I think we should get someone in the audience up. Now, we've pulled, we pulled someone out from earlier. His name is Daniel, and he's got the checkers. Daniel, where are you? Where are you, Daniel? Let's get him. <laughs> yes. Now, Daniel, I hear you took the, the Tango League team to the final and won it. Yeah. Single-handedly, no, you put you. Well, that's what you said to me. No, you said in dreams. No, you told me that earlier. <laughs> he's lying. He's lying. No, okay. No. okay. Let's okay. do it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 Rex is a little bit worried. Oh. Six. oh. Rex. Rex is. Oh, he's back out. No, no. I see him having a couple of stretches over there. So let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. <laughs> yes. So we've got Billy at the top with 74 miles per hour. Rich and Daniel joined second and third. And Victor in fourth at 64 miles an hour. And that was the sledgehammer. So now it's time for the masterclass, and tonight it's the sledgehammer. So Billy is going to walk us through all the steps that you need to know to perform the sledgehammer. But before we do, we need to point out that it's not about the size of your legs. Billy hasn't got the biggest legs in the world, but he has got one of the hardest strikes in the world. So, Bill, over to you. That's right. So basically, with the sledgehammer, it's all about your run-up and starting from deep. Your speed is probably half pace. When you make contact with the ball, you have to follow through the ball. Your whole momentum goes through the ball, and that's where you get the power from. Areas to strike the ball with, I use the bone area. So it's basically, instead of lacy square on, that bone area there, I think that makes more impact and creates more power. Unlike when you do curling the ball or whipping the ball, you're quite close to it and you run up at an angle, this one's got to be quite square on. Run through, your momentum takes you through the ball, and that should give you a good score. So momentum and speed of approach is key for this technique. Do you want to demonstrate one? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> and that is the sledgehammer. Guys, we're nearly out of time. This was the first ever F2 live show. Massive thank you for you guys for watching and all of the F2 family that turned up today. Oh, yeah.